Welcome all to my channel. So this is going to be a collective reading. I did a poll in the community tab on my channel and I asked what you all wanted me to do the next collective reading about. Uh, the choices were money, love, major life changes slash growth, and major life changes slash growth is what won. So that is going to be the theme of the collective reading today. Um, it is going to be a general reading though, so please take what resonates and leave the rest. And if you would like to see more of your personal readings and your zodiac sign readings, then please check out my other videos because I post um, all of the signs weekly as consistently as I possibly can. So that's enough of that. Let's just see what the universe has for you all in terms of major life changes and growth. All right, so we have the Ten of Wands coming out here first. So I feel like a lot of you are on a journey that is, um, it's giving you a lot of responsibility, but I also see that it, you know, I feel intuitively um, that whatever whatever you're growing towards and, and whatever you're changing towards is something that is very satisfying. And sometimes the most satisfying changes and the most satisfying transformations give us the most amount of responsibility and stress and um, what feels like burden sometimes. Um, we also have the lovers here, but let's keep going. We have the king of swords, which again, and with the knight of swords, I really do feel like whatever this transformation is about is something that you're taking very seriously. Um, I feel like a lot of you want to grow and want to make more uh, concrete changes and, and concrete decisions. I feel like some of you are very tired of flip-flopping from one thing to another without really knowing exactly what it's going to lead to. Um, I feel like a lot of you just want a clear and concise direction for your life because you're, you're tired of struggling. You're tired of wanting something and not getting it. You're tired of being let on. You're tired of receiving false hope and empty promises and I feel like you just want to see something more concrete more stable and of course that card fell so uh, but lo and behold we have the six of wands this is major success major victory so I feel like a lot of you are on the path to transforming are on the path to a major life change, a major shift. I feel like a lot of you are growing in the best way possible. And it's giving you the ability to be successful in ways that you didn't think you could be. Maybe in your career, in your jobs, you're doing so much better because you're deciding to be better. You're deciding to put more effort into yourself. I feel like you're investing in yourself more than ever before because you realize that that is the truth. And when I say the truth, I mean that is what this life is all about. I think you're starting to understand that people will always have their own agendas and, and everyone else will always think about themselves. And, you know, we, we live in a world where people pretend to care about you. But, you know, at the end of the day, what they really want is to see how they can benefit from others. And I think you're starting to realize that if you don't invest in yourself, no one else will. And you're starting to really, you're benefiting from that perspective because you understand it so well, which is a powerful place to be, might I add. We have the seven of wands. So I do feel that a lot of this requires you to defend yourself. You're defending yourself against people, against energies. You're defending yourself against society, the world, old perspectives. You're, you're trying to stand up for yourself and the way that you think and your beliefs and your morals because you know that you believe in something that is so, so out of this world. You, you believe in, in things that other people struggle to understand. And I feel like you have to defend yourself and defend your perspective against people that don't get it because 
they try to make you feel bad for it or they try to make you sound like you're crazy or they try to make you not understand yourself so that you could be the same as them this is deep okay let's get one more six of cups i feel like there's people from your past that are starting to want to benefit from your success right so there's people that see you and they're seeing how much you're growing they're seeing how your life is changing right before their eyes and they're like i want a piece of that like hey do you remember me can i can i be a part of this new journey that you're in i feel like you're really dealing with people that want to take a part of the things that you're doing for yourself and i feel like that's usually what happens when we are in a major life change in a major transformational shift i feel like when we are growing at the quickest speed possible that's when people from our past are trying to come in and take us back they're trying to come in and slow us down they try to come in and self or make you self-sabotage or they try to self or excuse me, sabotage this growth and this transformation and this, this, you know, shift that's happening in your life, which is so crazy to me and also so funny because they think that they can do that. They think that they can step into your life just as you are truly starting to make some really remarkable changes and all of a sudden stop your growth. And that is not going to happen. That is just not going to happen. And... And the craziest part about this reading is the fact that I've picked out all the cards that I want for now. And the card that is at the bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune. Do you see this? The Wheel of Fortune. And this is a reading about major life changes and growth. I cannot make this stuff up. I'm telling you. All right. So, um, again, with the Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands, I feel like you are very serious about something here you're very serious about making this change you're very serious about your life taking on a completely new direction you are tired of the old you are tired of things being the same you are tired of struggling and 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 always having to to suffer with your limitations and the things that you've dealt with for so long you you're no longer willing to tolerate things not moving forward and, and not achieving your goals and not being able to make plans. You want to have the freedom to create the life that you deserve, the life that you know you can have. And I see you very being very intentional with the movements that you're making now because you want, you want it to have an impact on your future. And you're making plans. You're starting to do things. You're not just thinking about things. You're starting to physically do things to make things happen and to change the outcome of things. With the King of Swords and the Six of Wands, again, this is you stepping into your power. This is you stepping into your power, knowing exactly what it is that matters to you, not backing down and it giving you the success that you want. You're being recognized by the universe because of your diligence, because of your, you know, logic you're, you're being rewarded by the universe and you're receiving blessings and you're going to jump into so much abundance because you're focused on your growth have you realized that it, it only only when we focus on growing only when we're serious about being better is when we start to receive these massive amounts of blessing i i can't remember one time where i wasn't trying to grow and i received a lot that just didn't happen in fact, when I wasn't trying to be better, when I was just letting things happen to me, I didn't see the things that I wanted. I didn't get the things that I wanted. I wasn't in, in an abundant energy. I was in a lack mentality because I didn't see any point in investing in myself. The moment that changed, and I think that this is the, the part that you're in right now, the moment that you decided to invest in yourself and put yourself first and be logical and precise and strategic and not let anyone mess with you that that moment when that happened when that started is when you started to receive this abundance and this energy from the universe that was like yes keep going you are being divinely rooted for you know like there's so many things that are in your favor because you're deciding to grow and because you're taking initiative in your own life 
Not everyone wants to do that. Not everyone is willing to put in the work to be better, but you are. You are. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, this is very motivational, to say the least. And I'm, I'm so proud of all of you for being on this journey and wanting to change your life because sometimes it's so easy for us to stay comfortable and complacent. Um, with the lovers and the seven of wands, this is that energy of having to defend yourself against people that want you to be the same as them. I feel like the lovers here is talking about People that might be envious of the fact that you are different. People that might not like the fact that you are different. That you are, you know, standing up for something that is outside of their understanding. I feel like the lovers is talking about the fact that people in society don't like to see uniqueness sometimes. Or they don't understand how someone could want something different if everyone else wants the same thing. And I feel like your perspective is just so... You're on such a high vibration collective that you have to defend that instead of people just appreciating you for it. Instead of people just wanting to see you win, you're dealing with people that want you to be just like them or they just don't understand you. They don't understand how you could possibly want to be different or they don't see what you see. And instead of trying to please people, instead of trying to always, you know, make people happy and do what they want you to do, you're doing what you want to do. And that is making other people question their, maybe their attraction towards you. They're questioning their connection towards you. They're questioning how much they actually know you, but that's not your problem. You know who you are. You know what you stand for and you're defending the F out of it. And I think that's creating some challenges for people that are close to you, people that want to get to know you, people that you might be in a relationship with. And that's very interesting. And last but not least, with the Ten of Wands and the Six of Cups, to me, this is confirmation once again um, that someone here is, is coming from your past and they're trying to sabotage your success. You have, look at how many wands you're carrying. This is, this is, powerful these wands do not only represent the the responsibility and the the weight on your back and the sacrifices that you're making this also represents all the all of the success that you have the potential to have in your in your in your hands this is potential to have literally everything that you could ever possibly want you're you're basically holding on to it it just feels heavy right now it feels heavy because you're in a transformational stage where things are not there just yet, but you can see it and you're working towards it and you are growing to achieve all of these things. And right now that is difficult, that is challenging, and that is life. That is the purpose of growing and going through these changes so that eventually it doesn't feel so heavy anymore. But there's someone here that wants to take that away from you. There's someone here that's making this process that much more difficult and if I was to give any advice during this reading, I would say to not pay attention to that. I mean, truly, honestly, if you're in a transformational shift, if you are growing and becoming a better version of yourself, why would you allow someone from your past to come in and try to change your future? How does the past get to do that? It doesn't make sense. It's not fair to you and your growth, and your transformational change. So please do not pay attention to this. Do not pay attention to someone that has an idea of you that no longer resonates with the person you are becoming. This is really powerful energy. Really, really powerful energy. All right, Collective, if that resonated, please hit the like. And if you would like to see more, please subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one.